about that. Okay, our next movie is The Devil's Rejects, and it has to be the sickest, the most twisted, the most deranged movie so far this year. And I'm giving it thumbs up because it's very good at what it wants to be, an almost pornographically violent B-movie. This is Rob Zombie's follow-up, the surprise hit House of 1,000 Corpses, but in its own bloody way, it's much more creative and original than the vast majority of Hollywood sequels. After the cops raid the Firefly's House of Hell, arresting one family member and killing another, the remaining sickos go on the lam and take a few hostages. Boss, I want you to pray to your God. I want you to pray that he comes and saves you. I want lightning to come down and crash upon my head. Louder! Ah, bless the bunnies. Bless the little birds. Bless the I don't world. feel anything. Ah, That's Bill Mosley. I think he gives the film's worry. best performance as the psychopathic oh, oh. Otis who looks like an Almond it. brother gone oh, mad. Oh, William Forsythe plays the Get town the sheriff line. whose brother is among the many, no many, many Firefly line. victims. Are we here? We are playing on a level that most will never see. I know my brother George, he didn't see it. Maybe he had a divine moment when his brains hit the floor. Yeah, well, maybe you will, too. Zombie is clearly influenced by drive-in classics such as Texas Chainsaw Massacre and more substantial violent fare such as Bonnie and Clyde. And he shows some real skill with the camera. He's also weirdly in love, I guess. Well, I guess not weirdly in love, but he's definitely in love with his own wife's naked backside. She's the aptly named Sherry Moon, and she plays the cheerfully <laughs> nutso baby firefly who seems to spend half the movie aiming her rear at the camera. Not that I'm complaining about this. We get all that, plus the scariest clown in recent cinema history, a great rock soundtrack, and some gruesomely entertaining kills. It's a sick film, but for what it is, thumbs up. Hate to disappoint you, but I'm going to give a thumbs up to him for exactly the same reasons that you have. But okay. I don't want anyone watching this show and writing in and saying we gave a two thumbs up so they went to see it and it was disgusting. I'm telling you, it is disgusting. Right. It's depraved. It's yes. gruesome. It's over the top. It's beyond the pale. And yet, at the same time, it has an energy yeah. and a kind of internal logic and a power. I mean, oddly enough, these are good performances. They're very good performances. They're good performances. Absolutely, and yeah. then there's also this mordant humor. For example, the Firefly family has named itself after Groucho Marx characters. You got Captain Spaulding, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. A Rufus T. Firefly, right. Otis Exactly, Driftwood. they're the Fireflies. So they yeah. bring in a film critic as a Groucho Marx expert in order to help them solve yeah, the Yeah, and you get that whole wild scene where he complains because Marx died and then Elvis died right after yeah. him and nobody ever remembers Groucho. Mm -hmm. So maybe we should give this two severed thumbs up just so people know what it's, this movie's all about. It is one of a kind. Yes, it, it is. It certainly is. Later in the show,